This is John again. I was wanting to talk about that. Uh, it's, a war it's a warning for them uh, people, Floridians, or anyone in the path of that uh, Hurricane Irma. Uh, like I said, I uh, see visions and stuff, and uh, seen our, our World War III's coming, and, all, and uh, uh, even seen Jesus coming in the clouds on a horse, a white horse. It's, he's so beautiful, so bright. And so he's coming for the rapture soon, and uh, he was coming right, riding right toward me, and he had a, there was a huge cross falling behind him. But I see visions of uh, World War Three and nuke, nuke, nuclear weapons and stuff, and that's coming. But also I knew that uh, it was coming for the. Uh, I knew also that there was going to be uh, Florida was going to be hit, devastated. It was one of the places in Miami. And uh, Miami, uh, I figure, would either get it worse or something than the whole state, or they would, or you know, or they would get hit first in the whole state of Florida. But I think it's going to be they get hit worse than the whole state of Florida. It's going to be devastated. I, I always knew that even before these storms ever came. And uh, so it's going to be bad. I mean, uh, the New World Order and the Antichrist beast system, they're pushing their agenda, uh, which starts with a to total takeover of America and then the world. And uh, they're doing these weather wars against their own citizens. Uh, they engineered most all these huge hurricanes in the past, recent, well, up, well quite some time ago. They've been doing this. And uh, they engineered them and those tsunamis. They could place uh, nuclear weapons in fault lines and cause those tsunamis, which they, I'm sure they probably did that. And they do, they engineered these uh, hurricanes. And uh, they, their, their goal is the push the New World Order agenda and a one, one world religion and the Antichrist and Barack Obama be back in power as their leader. And they're all of Satan and they're going to push the mark of the beast and uh, chop your heads off, you know, that. Everybody knows that much, and they're going to put you in them FEMA camps and so lock you up and a total power over you. And if you get the mark of the beast, then they're going to have total power over you. You ain't going to have no more freedom from the time you agree to take the mark. You're under Satan's control from then on, even until after you die, you'll be under his control for the afterlife and burn in hell with, with him forever and ever, just like Satan and his fallen angels. So trust me, you don't want to take that mark and he'll be over you in hell too for all eternity and uh but they're they're pushing this and uh they got their depopulation agenda so they want as much catastrophic they're doing this with weather their weather wars against us and the heart machine and they're going to they're putting out them chemtrails see the chemtrails uh, heats up the air too you know and the hotter it gets the more these hurricanes they do other stuff too there's a lot of aluminum in them, but and a lot of other heavy metals. It ain't good for people to breathe. It does all kinds of stuff to people. It messes with their minds. I mean, it messes their minds up. It actually can really destroy a person's mind over a period of time, or really affect it bad, hurt it. And uh, they're 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 out to do just as much as they can do, and. And so this storm is not going to be good. It's going to be worse than I thought. I mean, worse than, not worse than I thought, but it's going to be worse than the Floridians think because I knew it was coming all along, but, and I knew it was going to be catastrophic all along even before, even before the other one, even before Harvey come. So I'm trying to warn people, if you live in that, uh, Florida, please get out. You don't want to be in Florida. You don't want to be in Florida uh, when this thing times you don't want especially miami you don't want to be in anywhere in florida i recommend getting out if you live anywhere in florida i would leave and go to a place that that's not expecting uh the hurricane to hit that area go to a safe place uh don't think you can stay behind and stay in a home that's built good or something and uh be able to take it because it's it's going to probably flood the, this storm so big it's, it'll be over the ocean, you know, like I said in another video, on both sides will be sucking up water as it goes up the whole state of Florida from south, southern tip all the way up to the north, the whole length of Florida. 
and it's going to be sucking up water as it goes resupplying itself with water so it's going to be pouring down water like oh man it's going to be uh, floods like you've never seen i'd say i expect and uh, you know other hurricanes put out tons of water and they don't even uh, they don't even resupply themselves like stay over water too as this one's gonna do it it's huge you know and uh, they mean to do as much as they can they're going to take everybody's guns away and they're already starting to do that too i saw uh, where the governor of the u.s virgin islands ordered his national guards to seize all guns and other weapons and all ammunition from its citizens as the territory prepares uh, for hurricane number to make landfall uh NRA announced a they fought against a threat and a lawsuit, but it's Governor Kenneth Mapp, an independent, signed an executive order Tuesday, uh, the 5th, yesterday, uh, instructing Adjutant General Deborah Howell to take whatever action she considered necessary to maintain public order, and uh, they ordered the gun seizures in advance of Hurricane Irma, and the order states that Howell is authorized and directed to seize arms, ammunition, explosives and incendiary and incendiary incendiary material and any other property that may be required by the military forces to do their job by the military forces to do their job does that sound right like they're like they ain't got enough weapons and ammunition it seems like to me they're saying they they need them you know you know how much ammunition and stuff that the government has bought unbelievably hordes amount just for this reason to uh kill us all out and uh you know, the UN's coming over here. There's all kinds of people seeing them. UN vehicles are everywhere. The white trucks, white vans, white buses. And the UN soldiers, they've seen them trained over here, moving around uh, heavy equipment of Americans, heavy equipment, military equipment, and all over getting their place for World War Three and for this uh, uh, Jade Helm and all that and take over Americans, put them in FEMA camps. And the UN coming in here, there's tons of them been shipped in UN vehicles people seen them shipped in and UN soldiers getting ready and uh they were they said they had the blue helmets on and uh so they're getting ready and uh they're already taking their guns away from there you know it's it's looking bad I mean it really is they bought all the caskets uh, one guy, I seen some caskets, and he said, how many caskets, what is them, th oh, he didn't know what it was, he said, what's them black plastic boxes on your, on your land, and that guy said, oh, I uh, rented the land out, uh, leased the land, leased the land out to the government, to the CDC, Center for Disease Control, and uh, he said, they have got wanted to, to store them, he said, they had excess, ex extra ones, and they wanted a place to put them, and he said they must have paid him good, and uh, he had to put a fence around it and secure it and lock and stuff. And uh, the guy asked him how many he had there, and he said, I've got 500,000 of them. And you can, each one, they lay, a guy laid down it, and he said, he showed where you could put about three or four bodies in each one. So four, if it's four bodies in each one, which I could see easily four fitting in, in one casket, there's two million caskets. Why they need that many? That's not all of them. I'm sure there's many more. Plus, they seen the trucks hauling the uh, the signs of martial law in effect. People saw that. Uh, so everything's coming past. They're they're pushing their agenda through New World Order and Barack Obama, which I think is Antichrist, which I think will come back in power real soon and finish out the, the three and a half years it talks about in the Bible. He'll, he'll be given uh, the, so many months, uh, three and a half years, which will be three and a half years to uh, continue so when he comes back he's going to be the satan incarnate you know satan in the flesh i believe so i hope we're gone before the end of the rapture but if you live in florida please i want to tell y'all please get out of there this thing's going to be so much worse than most people think i believe i mean because they're wanting it to be as catastrophic as they can cause it. And they set these weather wars up against uh, citizens. And they're going to do this to put them in FEMA camps and everything else. Push their New World Order agenda. And they're, want, they're mean to kill. They got the depopulation agenda too. They mean to uh, kill out most humans. And they, they want to do as much destruction as can. So they may, may not even be telling the truth about how bad it is. Some uh, girl said she had a vision of it and said she was right above the storm. The Lord took her right above the storm. She said it was so huge 
that she said she couldn't imagine it being that strong and huge. She said it was so loud it just deafened you. If you're in Florida, please get out of Florida. You don't want to be in Florida for this thing. Because uh, I think it's going to flood it so bad and devastate Florida so bad that it, it's... You, you're going to want to be out of there, trust me. You, if you stay, you're really, really, really putting your life in danger. I beg you, if you live in Florida, to get out of Florida right now, immediately. Don't try to stay behind, fix up, make your house a waterproof, windproof, all that, and you're going to get killed, I'm telling you. If you do, I, will get, I wouldn't say your chances are 90% to get killed if you stay behind. So you better get out of there. You better listen to people like me. That's warning you. Uh, anyways, uh, I just wanted to give an extra warning out to Florid Floridians because I wanted to not let them know how bad this thing's going to really be. It's going to be worse than anybody ever thought, imagine, I believe, from what I've uh, been shown and everything. But uh, the rapture's going to happen any time now. Uh, it's right there on the uh, horizon. It's coming any time. I'm looking for the Lord every day and night. He's going to be here any moment, and I can't wait to be with him, and I can't wait to see you all in the air and at the wedding feast of the Lamb. I uh, can't wait to be with the Lord Jesus forever and ever and in heaven and to love him and praise him forever and be with him, be with Jesus forever. I can't wait to be with Jesus forever. Oh, it'll be so awesome. He'll give us our new bodies, our glorious, uh, glorious bodies and... Uh, Glorified bodies, I'm sorry, glorified. He'll give us our glorified bodies. And they'll be so much better than these bodies. And no more pain, suffering, sorrow, heartache, heartbreak. Uh, no more pains. what I like to hear because I suffer with pain. And uh, there's a, just unbelievable. You, they say people that went there in heaven and had their, they said uh, they felt just so much peace and love and heaven and bliss. Uh it's just going to be so great <clears throat> and to be with the Lord and feel his love. And he supposed to, he'll, wipe, he'll wipe all our tears away. And, uh, and so, and I think I've heard that people said that when they went to heaven in a vision or dream, they are in a dream. That's one of them said that she had our memory of the, of the loved ones that didn't make it to heaven wiped out of her head. So they didn't, so she didn't even remember the people that didn't go. That's sort of sad though. I know, but, and at the same time, I guess that's a good thing because if you was thinking about the person that didn't make to heaven went to hell all the time, that would, you know, that would be hard to deal with. But I just feel so sorry for anybody that goes to hell. If you're, I just don't even like to think about it so bad because they're there forever. If you're not right, get right with the Lord now. Get saved. Ask Jesus to save you. Watch my other videos how to do that. If you're backslidden, repent of your sins get down on your knees ask the Lord to forgive your sins and cry out to him cry out to him I cry out to him get down on my knees uh, on a regular basis and I recommend you do that if you've backslidden or you've had any any time you sin just you don't have to cry every time but you, I would get down and I would repent of my sins or at least repent of your sins uh, every day at least I do it several times a day but uh you want to you wanna be saved. You want to have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and you want to go in the rapture, trust me. You don't want to be here for seven years, hell on earth coming. I just want to warn people in Florida again, if you're in Florida, please get out of Florida. It's going to be worse than most people imagine. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. I hope to see you in there and at the wedding feast of Lamb. Bye.